Good morning, I'm Tom at Ledgemere. Today I've got some just regular old farm stuff to do and not all things to do with farming are sexy and unfortunately what I have to do today isn't all that sexy. The, uh, the meat birds, they're getting a little hot. It went from 39 to like 89 here pretty much overnight and the flies are out and the meat birds are not a very robust kind of bird so you want to try to make them as comfortable as possible. At this stage of their lives they're just pretty much squatting down, uh, laying around all the time. They'll eat and drink, but but they're not doing much. And just because of the nature of the birds, they don't tolerate the heat or cold very well. So I'm going to make a little screen door today to put up there on the chicken coop. And I've got a little bit of fencing left to do and just a couple other odds and ends. So if this is something you're interested in, hang out for a little bit. And as always, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. And I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to the channel. So let's get to work. This isn't going to be anything too spectacular. I'm not even going to put hinges on it. It's just going to set in place and give them some ventilation. It would be a shame to have raised these chickens up to the point of them uh, heading to the shop and then losing them because of something stupid like they're too hot. Put some of these gate hooks on. There, that's done. That'll be a lot better. They can come out here too. They kind of hang out. Now I'm in the well field working on the fence here. So far I've got the silver pasture down there done. That whole wall there. This wall all the way back around here. That pasture up there. That one over there. And then I still have this pasture up there. There. The one on the other side. And then hidden meadow to do. Right now here this is what pretty much happens every year at some point is you get a tree that comes down and it broke my broke the wire here so I'll have to fix that this was all a brand new fence down through here but once it lays on it like this you'll never get it right again so I'll cut this off and I'm going to leave most of it here and I'll come back and cut it up for firewood later. But right now I just want to get it off the fence. So that's all I'm going to worry about right now. This here's George's Meadow. You can see where I built the fence here. The stone wall is actually over there about 20 feet, but there's all these stumps and this peg pole stuff was starting to come back. And there's a lot of rocks in there, so I just went around it. So over there's Sawyer's Mountain. And then next to it over there is Hozak.
that next field you see is Hidden Meadow, and then the one behind that is the first field that we, we worked on this spring. And then back around the corner, back here. That first field you see right there is Gracie's Meadow, and then after that's the well field, and then after that is uh, right behind the barn. leaves are starting to come out pretty good. Most of these big trees are oak or, or maple. And then you get a lot of these little trees coming up and I think most of these are gonna be birch or purple. Those are the, these are the first ones that come back after you log it off. And these little clumps all in here, it was just too steep to mow. So I, I didn't mow, but I, you know, I mowed around it to the left here which is, it's almost vertical. And then down over here, I started mowing again, right on the other side of that flock, uh, yeah, flock of trees, clump of trees right there. And I was gonna fence this woods in, but I never got to it. So I, right on the corner there on the right is a gate. And so the fence comes back this way about 50 feet and then goes all the way up to the property line, which is several hundred feet up that way and then it runs all the way back down towards the road so that field right there is it's got to be 12 15 acres anyway but the animals come out there and uh it's nice and cool and there's a lot of feed out there for them i can't get close enough with the bush hog to to do a good trimming job here so i'll probably put the finish mower on at some point and and trim it up next to the bottom barbed wire otherwise I'm gonna have all this junk on the wrong side of the fence and then it'll be hard to maintain it you can see how steep that is right there I'm not even at the bottom yet I'll follow this fence line way down this field actually goes quite a bit more that way way down to the corner there but I didn't want to expend the, the fencing and there's a really big cliff right there, like it's sheer drop off. So I just circumvented that by cutting it off. So there's probably, you know, an acre or so out there that I can't use. This is the bottom corner down here. You can see way back to those trees. That was where the fence used to go. You can see where I had run some wires here at one point. And then I'd clean this up, but it was just such a big, big job to get up over that cliff with fencing I didn't bother but this is the bottom corner here and then we have to go back up around this way I've got some woods, ro woods roads out through here and if you were to go straight right here you'd end up down at my pond the big one here you can see how steep it is where I mowed right up through there and you know the main parts down through here but pretty steep. I got a broken wire here to fix. I'll get that fixed and then you can see some more paths up, up over there. You can see all those birches coming in, all those popples. You can only save so much of the field unfortunately. There's another nice mess. The whole limb broke off. Smashed the new fence. So I'm just gonna cut it and get it off there and we'll come back and, and cut the wood up later. But right now I'm just in the interest of getting the fence back up. All right, there's the frame from a 49 Ford. Probably worth a couple bucks, but getting it out of here is a problem. First tree right here is a golden russet and it's kind of got a banana texture to it. And that's an original heirloom variety apple. And then these other ones are here, just like Cortland's. And there's one over there too. I kind of want to address this sag right now while it's shady out here. And I don't know how this happened, but it's all smashed in. So I'll fix this real quick. And then the absolute last place I have to do fencing is 
that massive pasture up in the woods but I need the gator to get up in there because uh, there's a there's a road through the middle of it that's that's not too bad uh, but as far as getting to the fence line I really need the gator so I won't be going out there anytime soon until the gator comes back hopefully next week Every once in a while when the humidity gets to a certain point, you just get these thunderstorms that just move in real quick and cool everything off. Looks like we might have a thunderstorm. I hear it thundering. It got really black all of a sudden. Good night, cows. Good night, cats. Good night, Dexter. Good night, Henry. Good night, Iggy. Good night, calves. Lilacs are all blooming. They smell really good. Well, have a good week, everyone. Good night.